Hey guys, so I'm laser cutting a project right now to hopefully solve a problem that I think some of you guys might be having if you're watching this video. So lately I've been doing a lot of resin doming and I'm getting a ton of bubbles on the surface, especially with UV cured resins. It's, hope, it's happening with both catalyst resins and UV cures, but it seems to be worse with UV cures. And I'm also getting a lot of dust and so I called the manufacturer of the resin company, the, re the company that makes my resin, and they basically told me that it is mostly due to humidity. That in order to get a perfect clear coat or resin doming, I'm going to need to work in less than 35% relative humidity, which is basically impossible. I, I mean, I can't dehumidify an entire room, so I started to think of, or started to research some possible solutions to this. Now, they do sell um, their, I don't know what they're called, clean boxes or, um, you know, dehumidifier boxes. They're basically, it's a mini clean room, and they're very expensive, so I started to work on my laser cutter to try to come up with a solution and this is where I'm at. It's basically a mini clean room that I haven't installed the hinges yet so the door is not on properly but essentially the way it works is you're going to put your pieces inside here and you turn on this fan and what the fan does is and then you put the, the lid back on and once the lid's back on and you have an airtight container you turn this fan on and what the fan essentially does is recirculates the air through the wall which I laser cut a perforation all through the wall the fan will blow air through the wall into this chamber which it's only partially filled right now but um, when I'm done I'm gonna fill it completely with this um, material it's a desiccant silica gel they basically suck all the humidity out of the air so the fan is going to blow the air through here through the desiccant i'm going to put a small filter here to also filter out the dust and then when it comes out the other side the the humid the, all the humidity will ideally be gone from the container and then because the top is clear i could cure the resin through the top with my uv light and if you're not using a UV cure resin, um, you wouldn't need to use a light at all. So right now the humidity is 70 degrees in New York City. I just checked and I took the lid off so the humidity went up a little bit. But if you could see the, the gauge, it's now at 23. But it was at 10 before I took the lid off. So this box is clearly working. So I'm going to run some tests and um, hopefully this solves my problem. Oh, and another good thing is that I, um, I laser cut some holes here that go through the filter and come out the other side. The idea is that I'm going to run a skewer through there on a motor that if I want something clear coated all around it, like, you know, how fishing lures are done or some sort of jewelry where you would want to put a resin clear coat all around something, you could rotate it through there and your piece will be able to rotate in a completely humid-free, dust-free environment without having to take the lid off, which I thought would be really helpful. Anyway, um, me, these are hundreds of dollars if you were to buy one, and I was able to put one together for the parts were less than $10. So if this is something that you're interested in, definitely let me know because um, I have a ton of spare acrylic here and what I'm thinking about doing is maybe um, and laser cutting a whole bunch of the pieces that lock together and I could sell these as kits and because if I ship them disassembled I could probably fit all these pieces in an envelope so they'd be able to ship fairly cheaply so if this is something you're interested in let me know I'm gonna be um, posting updates on this project um, once I'm able to do some testing with it and finish it and put the door on and put the, um, the 
silicone um, sealant on there so that it seals perfectly. I imagine once I seal everything, I should probably be able to get the humidity down below 10% within five minutes. With that, that was pretty much my goal. So anyway, if this is something you're interested in, um, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be posting updates on this, and I'm also going to be um, posting these kits for sale once I um, once they're you know they're proven and um, I've cut a few of them. I imagine I'll probably be selling them for like 20 bucks, which I think is a more than fair deal considering the full size clean rooms are. I don't know, three or four hundred dollars. Plus, um, these are actually better for resin because it's so so sh narrow instead of being tall. Because the UV light, um, the further away you are from your project, the less likely it is to cure. So I intentionally only made a max here of uh, I think it's three and a half inches. And another thing is that once your resin even partially partially cures. You're sort of off the hook and you don't have to worry about bubbles anymore. Then you could take the lid off and get your light even closer to do a full cure. I mean, you probably want to keep it in there longer um, to keep the dust off of it. But um, anyway, I thought this was a very cheap and good solution to a problem that's been like plaguing me for a very long time. I just really couldn't think of an easy way to, to solve it without, you know, sterilizing an entire room, which as you could see, I mean, I work in a product development studio. I'm surrounded by CNC machines and laser cutters and it's just totally filthy here. So I just needed like one little tiny area that is just perfectly clean to be able to um, do any, um, you know, any resin coating. All right, guys, please subscribe and um, let me know what you guys think. Any um, suggestions? All right, take care.